Christine at Checkered Flag Honda with Vernon, who's going to show us how to set up navigation on the new Honda Accord. The first thing we're going to do is we're actually going to enter a home address, and then you'll see why a little later why we entered the home address. So in order to do that, we're actually going to go into setup. Now you'll notice at the top of the screen, you have setup, main setup, and other. By pushing your control knob here to the right, because it toggles back, forth, up and down, we'll get into the other screen. And you'll notice the very first one is personal information. So we press enter to go into personal information. Now, with personal information, you have an address book, which is built through addresses you put in. But the one we want is home address, because we want to enter a home address. So you'll notice the second part of this wheel, which turns to allow you to go into various screens. So we're home address is highlighted. We're going to press enter to go into home address. Now we're going to edit, edit the name and we're going to make the name home. So we'll press enter for edit name and you'll notice the alphabet comes up. So you select H, round to the O. And when you're done, you'll notice it tells you to push up because it shows up for done, to the left for delete, to the right for space, or down if I need to enter numeric characters. So we're going to press up. And now we have the name home in there. Now we're going to enter an address. Now this is where it gets a little tricky, so you have to pay attention. How do you want to input the address by? Current position, well being I don't live here, no. So we're going to actually enter an address. Now, Find address by California? No, don't think so. So we need to change the state. So you notice at the bottom it says push down or toggle down to change the state. So now we're going to just scroll around till we find the state of Virginia, and it's in alphabetical order. And you'll notice every time we hit a state, it lights up on the map. So you can teach your kids geography while you're at it. So there's Virginia. Now, we need to search by a city in Virginia. Being that I live in Virginia Beach, I'm going to spell out Virginia Beach, but you'll notice the letters will disappear if they're not applicable. So you notice, half the alphabet's gone. Notice it put the I in for me. Spelled out the Virginia and spaced. And there you have number one. So you press enter for number one. And it says enter my street name. And there's my street name, Shetland. Now, the unique thing about Honda system, it actually tells you how long the block is or how many numbers I can put in. So being I live at, in the 5800 block, I can't enter anything other than the five because it only goes from 5800 to 5899. So there's my address. And when I'm done, I just come around to done. Now, to go back, I can hit map, or if I needed a previous screen, I can hit cancel, and it will take me back one screen at a time. Or I can hit map, and it takes me back to the main screen. Now, the reason why I wanted to do that was because there's two buttons on the left-hand side of the steering wheel here that allows me to talk to the system. So I can do it by voice, or I can do it by touch. This time, I'm going to do it by voice, and I'm going to tell the car I want to go home. Go home. Would you like to calculate a route home? So as you can see, there's the home address. Now I'm going to answer and tell it yes, and it's actually going to calculate a route home. Yes. So no matter where you are... ...to the highlighted route. Then the route guidance will start. So no matter where you are in the 48 contiguous states, you can tell the car to go home and it will take you home. All right, so now we're going to see a few other cool things that the Honda voice activated navigation system will do. One of the things you can do with the system is you can control the heating and air conditioning in the car with your voice. By using, once again, by using the buttons on the left-hand side of the steering wheel, 
you can press a button and ask for a certain temperature. However, the first thing I'm going to do is turn the system on. So I'm going to press the button. Air conditioning on. Climate control automatic. So as you see, the system came on and the temperature set at 67 degrees for both. However, I'm a little warm. So I want to change my temperature using the same buttons on the left hand side of the steering wheel. Driver temperature 60 degrees. Driver temperature 60 degrees. And it changes the temperature. Now, for those of you that have a spouse that likes it colder or warmer, like mine, I will actually turn the heat on the passenger side. Passenger temperature, 80 degrees. Passenger temperature, 80 degrees. So now my wife can be comfortable, and I can be comfortable. However, it may be a little too much air. Fan speed, 1. Fan speed, 1. So now we're able to turn the fan down. But perhaps while you're watching this, you like a little bit of music while you're watching. XM Radio Channel 7. XM Channel 7. So as you see, it turned the radio on to Channel 7 of the satellite radio system that's standard on the 2012 Accord. So as you see, there's a lot of things you can do with the navigation system. Now, in traveling, whether it's locally or across the country, you may want to know where to get something to eat. So the system will also let you know restaurants. So you can display restaurants one of two ways. The first way, I'll ask the system to just display restaurants around me. Display restaurants. Display restaurant. And as you can see on the screen, if it's a national chain such as Wendy's, Quiznos, uh, Domino's, it will actually give the company's icon. If not, if it's not a national, but more so a local chain, I can actually move my cursor to one of these icons here that's actually a knife and a fork. I don't know how well you can see that on the screen, but if I press that right over there, it will actually tell me where it is. So that's Zachary's Deli in the neighborhood. It gives you the address. And if I want to actually calculate a route to Zachary's Deli, I could select number one. It would ask me if I want to calculate a route, and it would calculate a route from where I am now. However, sometimes you might be traveling, and you're not really sure. So I can ask the system to find the nearest restaurant to my location. Find nearest restaurant. Please select the number of the correct place in restaurant category or say nearest. And based on the closest to my current location, as you can see, 0.17 of a mile. And as I scroll through them, they get farther away. So that's, if you say find nearest, it will go from the nearest to the farthest. So nice little feature there that you can use, particularly when you're traveling or if you're not familiar with a particular area.